The Isle of Mull, a beautiful island off the west coast of Scotland, a haven for wildlife and great scenery. We caught the ferry from Oban. It was a smooth but windy crossing with some beautiful scenery to tempt us for the rest of the holiday. It was sunny, but a mixture of rain and sunshine was forecast. Tobermory was where we were staying, with its colourful houses and its harbour. On a short walk into town, you get this wonderful view of Carve Island, where there is a colony of seals. We went on a sea life excursion. We were very lucky with the weather. Mum was worried about getting seasick, but I think she enjoyed it. We all enjoyed it. We saw numerous wildlife, including loads of razor bills. This floating log shaped thing is actually a harbour porpoise, which is similar to a dolphin. And this other log is a minky whale. This beautiful bird is a gannet. We saw loads of them plummeting out of the sky diving for fish, which is an amazing sight. On the way back to Tobermory, we enjoyed the sunshine and the marvellous scenery. Before we went into the harbour, we went to see the seal colony in Calf Island. Yeah, the, the true seals don't have any ear flaps and they can't they, they the jump Oh, don't go in. They sleep, huh? Red deer can be seen all over Mole, usually far away up mountains, but we spotted these deer just off the road. They still have the velvet on their antlers. <laughs> Dad spotted these fallow deer from the car. He thought they were goats at first. That was good of me, wasn't it? That was good of you, Colin. I'm glad you're paying attention. <laughs> We had no idea what this noisy bird was, but we thought it was showing off to a mate. The bird wasn't the only thing showing off. Further up the road we came across these highland cattle with their calves. On one of our many walks we came across this small lock and on the shore Dad found a small cage. Poke him! What with? With finger? He's, he's dead. That's yeah. a pole cat. Just off the road in a village called Salem were this family of seals. Every time we drove past they were there and they seemed to know that they were being watched. Oh, you see them in the field, okay. 
Oyster catchers are everywhere. Red eyes, red feet, red beak. Where's this? Right there. Black and white. Marshmallow to me. Out there. We also had over there and in the sky. This is the beautiful lock bar. Just next door, over those hills, is Ben Moor, Mull's tallest mountain. Along this lock we found a sea eagle's nest. The diving crows give its location away. Another day, another lock. This is Loch Frisia, where on one of our walks we spotted these buzzards. At the time we couldn't decide what they were, even when a chap with binoculars the size of wine bottles offered to lend them to us. Got something. Which one should we be looking at? Not moving, man. Hanging on the wing. It's a white tail thing. White and the wings. Oh, look, there's a binocular <laughs> have, aren't they? Wow. A telescope. <laughs> you can hold them. Yeah, if you can hold them. <gasps> Just underneath They've it. got big white patches under the middle of its wings. So it could be osprey then, yeah? Oh, both of them? Oh, they're so wings. Okay, I'd I like to see them I in here. I wouldn't say they were eagles. Who's the bird watcher? I wouldn't say that they were eagles. Loch Frisia is also where the RSPCB have set up a hide to watch the white-tailed eagle's nest, which was shown on Spring Watch a few years ago. The nest was miles away, but you could still see it. They'd also set up a live nest cam. White rump? I can't see. Oh. Yeah, white rump. There are a lot of passing bays on Mull. This bay we stopped in and came across a pair of skylarks. Quite big birds, aren't they? The same size as roughly the sparrow, aren't they? Oh, Jesus, that ain't their nest there, is it? See it? We had a hard time finding this magnificent waterfall, which really wasn't that difficult to miss. And if you stand right on the edge, you can see it hit the beach below. Derbeg is a beautiful little village with lots of wildlife. We seem to visit quite often, ending up there for dinner or for a walk. It also looked a good place for spotting otters. Thank <laughs> you.